Dylan Bates never realized his childhood was any different than any of his peers. But with a father that played 15 seasons in the NFL with three Super Bowl rings, his childhood was anything but normal. Growing up in Troy Aikman would be over at the house and Emma Smith would be throwing the football in the backyard and you know going to all these different events for the Cowboys I just thought it was a normal thing that like every kid got to do and now growing up and realizing that you know having Emma Smith for dinner over like a couple nights during the week is not a normal thing. I just remember going out on the field you know my dad's coaching having a big old helmet on big old shoulder pads just running around with my friends not really knowing what the game of football was but knowing that there was this ball and you had to get it across this line. Dylan was not forced to play football. In fact, it was his decision. At an early age, my family, my mom kind of sat me down and was like, you don't have to play football. You can go play soccer or pick up an instrument. Or... So, you know, they gave it really uh, to us by choice. But, you know, football has always been a part of my life and it always will be. It's always been something that I've dreamed of doing. And, you know, coming here is kind of making my dream come a reality. And it's just about how far I can take it. A natural disaster turned to good fortune when it brought Dylan to Neyland Stadium for the first time. A memory he will never forget. I remember there was, a, there was a hurricane in Florida and we had to evacuate for some reason and we just made a trip up to Tennessee. And I remember they were playing UNLV. I remember going to the game and really just thinking like, wow, this is the biggest stadium I've ever been in my life. Like, this is where my dad went, this is so cool. And um, that's really when I really kind of fell in love with you know, Tennessee and the tradition, and I think I was only like nine. Now at the age of 19, Dylan is playing in that very stadium and participating in one of the traditions he fell in love with 10 years ago, running through the tee. I mean, that's something that I've been dreaming about for as long as I can remember. Just that feeling that those butterflies, I mean, you do not get those butterflies ever unless you're you know, playing this game or something else that's really important in your life happening. The linebacker followed his father's path and now is making his own footprints. For The Butch Jones Show, I'm Danny Kleppinger.